Hello, this is Dr. Adishina from Diverse Medicine. Today I will be talking to pre-medical students about the path to medical school. So you're starting freshman year and you don't know exactly where to begin and this is what this video is going to be about of what exactly you should be doing when you're preparing your way to medical school. So you start with your freshman year, okay, that's year one and you get into school in September. You're very excited. The first thing you need to do is make sure you organize your pre-medical classes so you can take the MCAT exam the spring of your junior year. That should be your number one goal. Now, in order to do this, you must look at your schedule and take a look at the college brochure that's given to you at the beginning of orientation. Do not toss it away. That's not a good idea. That's where the organization and plan begins. As the time starts to progress, you go into October and November, and by the time you get to November, you start to get acclimated to the school system and how everything works. That is the time to start talking to the upper classmen at your school and ask about their pre-med experience so they can give you an idea exactly what to expect ahead of you. Remember at the beginning, you still try to figure out the system. So once you get acclimated with all your classes and everything is all set up, now you should start talking to upperclassmen. Obviously, if you can talk to them before you start school also, that's always a great idea. So you finish your first semester and make sure you get above a 3.5 GPA, okay? That should be your goal or even a 4.0, okay? You want to get a solid score so you're getting like A's, you know, A minuses, nothing less than a B plus in your classes so you can get yourself ready for medical school. And you come back in the spring, in January and February, uh, you're going to have a winter break uh, during that time. And this is the time to be looking into the medical-oriented summer programs because, remember, you're going to have a whole summer off, okay? So you want to be looking at summer programs for research opportunities. And remember, they're going to ask you for letters of recommendation. And it's critical that you look out for the deadlines, okay? So what summer programs are we talking about? Well, these summer programs usually happen between May or June uh, every year. And these summer programs examples are Med Prep, SMDEP, Biomedical Science Program. And there's a lot of other programs out there that are geared towards preparing or introducing pre-medical students that are, have an interest in the medical field, either medicine, dentistry, or other healthcare professions. And this programs is what you're going to be looking for. But the goal is to make sure you apply early, apply early. The earlier you apply, the earlier you can get into these programs because a lot of students are applying for this similar programs. And what these programs do is they expose you to the medical field. You get to see doctors, work with doctors, uh, take classes during the summer. They will give you some stipend and free money and also even give you housing uh, depending on which program we go to. So definitely make sure you check this out. Very, very important, okay? Also, this is the time you should invest your money to purchase MCAT review books, okay? You wanna use them along with your college classes when you start in the fall and in the spring okay so that's very key so if you get some extra money during the summertime let's say you even get a chance to work part-time during the summer save that money for your MCAT books because you're gonna need them to start studying so now you have finished your freshman year and yay you know you have an average GPA of 3.5 or better you're proud of yourself and you're already on your way to preparing for medical school so let's now you all of a sudden you're starting again back in the fall and in the fall now you are now a second year you're no more a freshman that should be exciting right but at that point some people actually might not have a major yet so because freshman year is a little bit intimidating college is new to a lot of students coming out of high school some people might actually haven't gotten a major yet but i strongly recommend that prior to go into college, you should know what you want to do. But sometimes that's not the case, and that's fine. But at that point, you should make sure you decide a major, okay? And if you're going to be majoring and try to go to medical school, you you can either major in science or a non-science major for, for that matter. Actually, you can even do psychology, you can take music, you can take any major you want, but if your ultimate goal 
in life is become a doctor that's what you want to figure out okay so if you want to go to medical school if you're a non-science major all you have to do is just take the science classes that are recommended and required for medical school application which are gonna be your general biology general chemistry organic chemistry one and two biochemistry calculus okay and physics so make sure you have those courses if you have decided a major and make sure you incorporate them and your goal is to get an A okay that's always your goal to get an A in every single class so now you're starting the fall of your second year this is the time to be thinking about traveling abroad in your junior year if it's that's something you're interested in and don't be afraid to even revise your pre-medical academic program to make sure you're keeping your eyes on the prize which is medical school okay so what you want to do is to go back again take a look at your college brochure make sure that what you're really doing is actually aligned with the plan that you already scheduled remember at the beginning of your freshman year so now you have finished the fall the, the fall semester of your second year of college now you're starting the spring semester now this is the time to start investigating summer programs in the area of interest watch out for the bulletin boards in your college campuses visit the pre-medical office regularly to see if there's any new announcements or any new programs that have been uh, created for pre-medical students and now also during this time is when you want to save your textbooks for your pre-medical courses okay they are very valuable for your MCAT review and for medical school use later on so during the summer of your second year you should be paying attention to this now when you actually come back in the fall if you haven't started yet in your freshman year this is a good time to be thinking about doing research okay research is very critical when you're going to medicine and it's required mostly by most medical schools that you have some background in research if you can and if you want to see the reason is because in medical education research is really what gets us into the cutting edge of the latest advancement in medicine well also once you now actually come back in the fall of your second year you should start preparing for the MCAT okay you should look at the review books I highly recommend exam crackers there's Princeton review there's Kaplan review find the one that works for you the best and now we get into third year okay now you're a senior all right I mean you're a junior in college okay you're no more a freshman you're no more a second year you're now you're no more a sophomore you are now a junior now this is a very very critical year this is the time when you start in the fall of your junior year you want to start to plan to take the MCAT exam in the spring either either between February and May of your junior year this is to give you and I, I really strongly recommend that you give yourself a light academic load in the spring if you can so you can study and prepare while taking classes making sure you don't jeopardize your grades okay you want to maintain that GPA all right and your goal is to always go above 3.5 GPA if you do that you will always be in the safety zone now if it's less than that than the end of the world no but always safety is better so you start to prepare for MCAT in the spring of your junior year and over the winter break you want to decide how you want to review for the MCAT exam start to plan okay so during that winter break here remember I was emphasizing you should pay attention to recommending getting the books from freshman year but it's very important that you start to make a plan how you actually going to start reading okay how you're gonna start reading for the exam and don't forget about the summer okay look for exciting programs research volunteer and shadowing physicians during the also this summer of your junior year because also that's another critical part of your application because you're gonna put all this on your application when you're applying to medical school all right so it's gonna be a lot of work but just get ready it gets better if you're taking the MCAT between April to August you want to ask your professor for a letter of recommendation during the spring of your third year as a junior okay because you're gonna need that letter to put on your AMC application okay so now once you 
actually during this February and March and April of your junior year, start to think about the medical schools you are going to apply to. Are you going to be applying to the East Coast, the West Coast, the Midwest? It's your choice depending on what part of the country you are located in and where you want to go. So do a lot of research. If you're applying just to MD school, you go on the AMCS website. If you're applying to DO schools only, you look at go on the AACOMAS website and they will give you a lot of information but be prepared to fill out the application when the se application season begins okay you have everything ready you got your letter of recommendation you got your research you already have your volunteer experience your resume is already packed so as soon as they launch the the application process you start to apply immediately okay so very important now this is the time to also get ready to take your MCAT all right so between May and June and July and also August of your junior year you have to take the MCAT all right some people don't take the MCAT in their junior year depends on what your plans are after graduation but if you're a student that definitely want to go to medical school right after college uh, this is very 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 recommended and strongly required okay but don't pressure yourself by the demands and try to keep your focus okay if you're not ready for the test at this time don't take it if you're not scoring between a 25 okay and 30 on the exam uh, especially on the practice assessment test do not take the test because you are not ready okay so make sure that's a very critical important thing don't push yourself to take an exam you're not ready to take now once you've taken the exam whew, wow you've actually accomplished a great thing okay you've done what most people don't do now you're looking into the fall of your senior year now you're a senior it's very exciting you spent the last three years working so hard to get yourself into preparing yourself for medical school now it's time to fill out your secondary applications in the sp uh, in the fall okay and uh, start to send them in remember do this as soon as possible to maximize your chances of getting in I see a lot of students making these mistakes filling out their secondary applications later as soon as you get an offer make sure you fill out your application because it's ongoing and the earlier you get a application sent in the earlier they can call you for an interview now in November and December of your senior year this is the time for interview exactly this is what you want this is always what you've worked for this is the time medical st schools are gonna be sending you letters they're gonna be giving you a phone call and when they call you try to schedule an interview as soon as possible okay this is not the time you want to be saying oh okay I'll, I'll wait maybe another three weeks or four weeks before I come for an interview if you get a call make that interview right away so that they can see you and meet you and talk to you and you can show them you're a great candidate for medical school now when it, when you get into the spring in January this is the time to decide whether you want to go to an allopathic or osteopathic medical school uh, you want to attend so remember sometimes they will ask you for a deposit after the interview and you get accepted into a medical school and you can lose your deposit if you don't confirm that you're going to be coming to that medical school so that's also a very important caveat so after your secondaries are in and you get an acceptance they will tell you they might hold a spot for you but if you don't send in your deposit or if you send in your deposit and you don't register uh, for the school they might not give you uh, acceptance because they have unrolling admissions and they need to know if you're going to come to their medical school or not okay so now you've got into medical school finally you did it okay it's now time to graduate it's March April it's towards the end of your senior year you're excited you actually finally work hard for the last four years and now it's May and June after graduation you start to plan for the summer remember you have to have fun vacation spend time with your family before you start medical school go places where you haven't been in the world yet because once you start medical school it's a different ball game but wait if you've been out of school for a while and I've just gotten accepted into medical school I still strongly suggest that you do a summer program that's offered by that medical school that has accepted you and this is a summary of the path 
of a pre-medical student with a schedule that can help you from day one when you're actually coming into college until you graduate on your fourth year of college okay now it's another important caveat if you're a student that made, did not take the MCAT the, your junior year because not everybody has the same goals okay different strokes for different folks it's okay you can decide to take your MCAT also after graduating college which means you're gonna wait a, a year the following year before you get into medical school or some students even decide to work first before going to medical school whichever the case is as long as your end result is to make sure you get into medical school and take that MCAT exam with a good strong GPA you will be fine but this is a great schedule for you guys to use to be able to align yourself in the path of getting into medical school it's Dr. Adishina again uh, we would love to have you uh, on our website www.diversemedicine.org this is a mentoring website for high school college pre-medical and medical students that are interested in medicine and we would love to have you please join us and we'll see you soon thank you very much have a great day bye bye